what is up guys welcome back to another daily build video this video actually was intended to be a daily build featuring a build from you guys from the community on this gtr nismo however in doing some online racing it sort of took a turn for the worst and it's gonna turn into a rammers gets clapped video but also i'll feature the build all right let's go All right, so let's start out with the build because this is actually the important part of the video and this is the one that you want to see the rest of the video is just entertainment and it's just for you guys to enjoy so let's talk about the build and where i got it so this build came from the militia gaming co website you guys can submit your own builds if you go to the link in the description if you have a build that you really really like send it through and we'll take a look at it and if i like it i'll review it put it on the channel and uh, we'll make a video on it if not you know it just gets uh lost in the ether and nobody ever sees it Actually, that's not true. I recently dumped a bunch of builds into our builds app. Again, link in the description for the builds app. There's tons of hundreds and hundreds of builds, and most of them are coming from the community. Now you can see by this little screenshot, I have a builds app that shows the entire build. At the very top, you're gonna see it say MGC tested with a question mark, and the answer on that is going to be yes or no. If it's yes, that means I've actually used the build and driven it, and the majority of these are not tested by me because we just started this whole thing. So I've got hundreds of builds sent in by you guys, and I've got them all loaded up into the app that you guys can access. You can just go in there anytime, pick out a build for a specific car, take a look at it, see if you like it, and you'll notice if it says MGC tested, yes or no, you'll be able to see it there. So with that said, I picked out a build in the S Plus class because the day that I was doing this testing, S Plus was featured in the multiplayer playlist, and I wanted to be able to play in multiplayer. So for that, we've got this 2017 Nissan GTR Nismo, and the build by Biogrex. Now, there's a few things about this build. I'm just going to give you a quick review, my own take on this build. There's a couple things about this build that I just really don't like. Number one, it's the auxiliaries that he chose to use. This to me feels like a single player build. It's not a build that I would use in multiplayer the way he's got it set up, but I'm going to give it a couple of little tweaks in this video to sort of make it more multiplayer friendly. So anyway, let's get through the build. So starting with the engine, we've got the 515 horsepower 4.0 liter V8. For the parts, we're at Elite Everything with the Elite Dual Turbo and the Elite Nitrous. For the chassis, we're looking at Elite Road Suspension, Elite Brakes, and Elite Road Tires, Elite Clutch, 7-speed gearbox, Elite Differential. Now, most S Plus builds have this because there's really no cap on the PI, the rating, the little 400 plus. There's no cap on that. It just gets to 400 plus and you can just keep adding parts and make it as good as you want. Now, here's where I'd like to tweak this build a little bit. For his build, he put on Elite Getaway Driver and Elite Damage Reduction. Now, those are not helpful at all in multiplayer because there's really no cop chases outside of like the, um, what are those events called? What are those events called again? They're called Gauntlets. Outside of the Gauntlets, you really don't have any police chases. So, those auxiliaries are just not going to help you. In addition to that, I don't really like the handling that he has set up. So he's got neutral handling, meaning it's completely zero, not drift, not grip. And that really just doesn't work well for this car. And then the same thing with the steering sensitivity, plus five downforce. Traction is on, which I hate. It just limits the car's power. And then you've got the drift entry set up to default, which is gas or brake. So here's what I've got going on for this one. I've turned this into a complete grip build because that's the way I prefer driving 100% grip, plus four on the steering sensitivity, plus five on the downforce. Traction is off and drift entry is on brake tab. That's how I prefer to set up the cars for grip. And for the auxiliaries, I've got nitrous drift and nitrous grip. Other than that, the build is actually pretty good. However, as you will find out here in the end of this video, it's not the greatest for online racing in the S plus category, and it's not the build's fault. It's actually the meta. The meta is R8 and Regera in S plus. If you don't have one of those cars, it's extremely hard to compete. But where this video really took a turn for the worst is that I've got a couple of people in these lobbies that just wanted to completely crash me out. And I was in a really subpar car. I mean, the car just really wasn't capable of keeping up. Now, not to mention I wasn't driving that well either, but there's no need to be mean. There's no need to be rude. And these guys were. So I figured after taking some abuse for a few playlists, I'm going to switch it up. We're going to get into an R8 and see what happens. 
anyway i thought you might enjoy this shout out to biogrex for sending this build in i'm not even sure when he sent it in but it is here you guys can use it you can screenshot it you can go to the builds app you can submit your own builds however you want to do it but enjoy the rest of the video this is rammer gets clapped episode one Let's dance! 